Hi everyone, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Samvia. We want to share a little tip with you that we love for cleaning up around the ears. Recently, Sam showed you a tip on how a lot of times with longer hair, you're able to bring the comb in and actually press the comb down on the ear to, to get behind it. Now, a few of the hairs that are left here are long enough, but some of them are actually so short at this point that that technique, you're not gonna be able to brace the, the shortness of those particular lengths. So we're gonna share with you a little tip on how to get those short lengths. So we're gonna bring this around, and we just left this ear area unrefined so that you guys could get a picture of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our comb and we're gonna place it here. So we're gonna put two fingers behind the comb and then the tops where our fingernails are on our pointer finger and our pinky finger, we're gonna put those on top. So that gives me a little brace there and it leaves my thumb open. So what I can do now is I can use my thumb to actually brace the ear down, take that comb there, and I'm gonna use the Signature Series Blending Shear, and I'm gonna clean that hair away. Now that way I can get that ear safely out of the way and get in there with the blending shear. I really enjoy using the blending shear because it gives me a soft edge there. And you definitely could do this with a regular straight shear, you're just not gonna have quite as soft of an edge there. So as we come over the ear, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bend that down, brace it down with the top of our thumb, bring it down using the wide teeth of the long cutting comb and remove that hair with that blending shear to keep it really nice and soft. So you can see that gives me a really nice edge to that. It's very lived in, very natural still, but clean enough to work with the rest of our shape. Now the hair that sits in front of the ear, we don't really need to brace because what we can do is we can just come in and freehand that. If it was a, a texture that maybe grew forward in a way that we couldn't get to it, then you could use that exact same technique. But on Sawyer's hair, we don't need to do that because his hairline behaves quite nicely right here. Good hair. It behaves for us. So there's just that one little guy right there on top, so I'm gonna brace that ear down again and clean those away. So again, just to reiterate the technique behind what you're doing with your hand, take the comb, the pads of the finger on the middle and ring finger go behind, and then the fingernails of the pointer and the pinky finger go on top to leave your thumb free. We hope that helps you out with getting a nice clean edge with a very lived in look and getting that ear out of the way. I'm Andrew Carruthers for Sam Dio.